Remembering the life of a three-year-old boy who was a victim of gun violence when he was tragically killed while watching fireworks outside his home last July. News Force Sarah Minkowitz shows us how a year later the community is celebrating the child's life. Sarah. Jeff, dozens of people showed up at the Ferry Grider homes on East Ferry Street to celebrate the life of Shaquelle Walker Jr. Organizers say this is to let the family know that their son has not been forgotten. What we wanted to do was honor the family, uh, bring the community together, and celebrate a life, although it's been taken, and just let the family know that we haven't forgot about them and that we care about them. The scene outside the Ferry Grider apartment complex on East Ferry Street was filled with music, dancing, and a lot of food. People who knew Shaquelle Walker Jr. best say he would have loved to see everyone gathering in his neighborhood like this. We want this to be a fun event, not a sad event. A year ago at this location, Shaquelle was hit by a stray bullet while watching a fireworks display. He died of his injuries a few days later. He was three years old. We're just here out to come with some unity in our community. That's what we need. You know, and we have to take a look at the bottom line, the, the um, purpose, the reason that brought us all here is because of the gun violence in our community. So we have to eradicate that. To honor Shaquelle, several organizations, including the Buffalo law firm of John Elmore, Most Valuable Parents, and Stop the Violence Coalition, threw this event called It's a Family Affair. The number of the people, the turnout is, is, is greater than expected. But what really brings joy to me as one of the major sponsors is to see so many happy faces and beautiful smiles. Organizers say since the shooting on July 5th, 2021, they've noticed a stronger relationship between the Buffalo police and the communities they serve. I know the number of, of, of homicides in Buffalo this year um, is down significantly. Uh, and, and I think that is, is um, to some degree, due to a partnership between law enforcement and the community that wasn't there this time uh, when this happened. In light of everything that's happening, it's bringing everybody together. Uh, we're no longer just concerned about ourselves. Um, we have a lot of people reaching out to people, um, and we still have a long way to go. We have a long way to go, but we want to put hope back in the community. Now, Chictawaga couple Daquan Richardson and Janae Robinson have been charged with murder and assault in connection with Shaquelle's death. The two will be back in court in September. In the studio, Sarah Minkowitz, News 4. Sarah.